This is going to be a resin video. I'm going to show you guys how I do resin. I've had quite a few people requesting how I go about doing it. So first off, I'm going to make sure I have all my materials ready. You're going to probably need some paper towels. In this bowl is hot water out of the faucet. So I left the faucet running enough to get it hot. You don't need it boiling hot. And then I have a pair of rubber gloves that I'm definitely going to use and need. I got my stir stick. We got the uh, boba treat. Got to have a boba treat. Boba, come get your carrot. Boba, come get your carrot, Boba. Come get your carrot. Come on, get your carrot. Get this carrot. You can say hi to everybody, Boba. You can say hi. <laughs> now run away with your carrot. Say bye-bye, Boba. Then I have my hardener. A mixing container that I like from Home Depot. They got all these little lines on it so you can exactly measure it because you need exactly one part hardener and one part of the resin. It's got to be as close as you can possibly get this. So I'm going to go ahead and put my gloves on. I'm going to hope Bobby eats that carrot like a good boy and doesn't leave it in my sock drawer again. It's hot water over here in the mix. You're going to put your two parts in here so that they're perfectly measured. Once they're in this container, <clears throat> you drop it down inside of this hot water and you only have enough hot water so that it gets in here and kind of coats some of this. That hot water is going to help eliminate some bubbles and it's also going to make these two consistencies thinner so they mix a lot easier. If you just go at it with them chilly or from your basement, or even somewhat room temperature, it's harder to mix this stuff and you want it to be easier. As far as putting the two materials in the container, I prefer to put the hardener in first. It's a thicker consistency. So I right now have a whole lot in the resin room. So I'm gonna put 24 ounces total. So I'm gonna first put 12 ounces of my hardener, get my paper towel ready, and I'll have my camera crew take a good, if they can get a picture of it right at 12 ounces on these lines once I spin this cup around for you guys. But you want it <laughs> as close to perfect as possible. So we got it right at 12, then I take my paper towel, get the little drip off of here, so that it ain't all over the place. Put the cap back on. Get that out of my way. We'll get a good look if it's possible and see that that fluid is right at the line of 12. I'll give it back to me so I can see it get it's just barely, barely a hair maybe on the top of the line of the 12. So I'm going to go to this line 24, just barely to the top of it with this. There we go. And I'm going to correct myself right now. I should have put the resin in first because it's actually the resin that is a little bit thicker of a material. But we'll make this work. Just a smidget more. Just to get that line right to the top. Clean that off so we can put our cap back on. And we'll see this thing right just barely ahead of that 24. Then we'll put it in this warm water. We'll get our stir stick ready and we're going to tell Alexa, set a seven minute timer. Alexa, set a seven minute timer. Seven minutes, starting now. Okay, so I'm going to mix for seven minutes. No more, no less. You want this exactly seven minutes. At least that's the product I use. That's what the box suggests. I don't go any more than that, especially when you're warming in this hot water, or you risk the fact of it getting too hot, and then you have less time to spread it all over the stuff you're going to spread it on. While you're mixing this, it of course looks cloudy right now. 
you got to make sure to scrape the walls of the container with your stir stick and make sure you're scraping the bottom and just keep sp sp spinning and spinning go the other way go the other way turn turn I bring it up down in here you want to mix this thoroughly for that exact seven minutes I'm gonna put you guys on pause now so you don't have to watch the seven minutes of spinny spinny mixy mixy doo dah. I'm sure we know how to do that now and then I'll start you back up when we're on our way to the resin room Okay, seven minute timer just went off, so we're going downstairs to the resin room. Oh, we gotta grab our ventilation. Take our mask here. Cause I'm gonna make the camera crew leave after I do one. And let you guys go so you don't have to watch me do all of them, that'd be boring. First thing we got here is a door with the screen window open and ready. Top of stairs, we got one ventilation fan pushing it out the door. Bottom of the stairs, we got a fan shoving it up the stairway toward the other fan. And we all know the resin room and the walls of shame. Welcome again, welcome. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do this one trivet here in the corner. Show you guys exactly what I do. Get my tools ready. Right here in one of my old spray paint paintings, I got my needle for bubbles that are persistent. So we'll get him ready and our torch ready. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna explain one thing. As soon as I'm done pouring out all the resin on all of these, then I'll come back and start smearing it on them all. Before I do that though, I take my container and I take my paper towel and I bring the paper towel and the garbage can near my exhaust fan so while I'm ripping this paper towel, those little fibers don't get in my resin at all. They go up in the fan and out of here. And then I wipe out my container really good so I can reuse it most of the time. I'm probably going to start just throwing them away after each time, but that might be a waste of money. So these can sit right here on these guys waiting to be resin. And here we go. Trim it like that. I pour about, let's see. Put about that much in the center. That's all you need. I pick them up over my plastic. I'm just going to smear it around with my finger. Start in the middle and work your way to the edges. Get out here to this edge. Get out here to this edge. Get out to this edge, get out to this edge, get out to this edge. And you can see that big pile right in front of my finger, so you've got plenty on there. Once I got it towards the edges, I'm just going to round my finger around these corners. Round it around that corner. Round it around this corner. You're just making sure you have it on the side really good. Spin my cups. I got little cups under there still from when I painted. Round this corner. Round the corner. Push it over to this corner. Around this whole side. Make sure you smooth it really good on these edges. Go around it over this side. Now that you have it around each corner, and it's around the sides good, I'll just kind of hit the middle again, see if I got enough to go everywhere I can. It's going to want to collect up by itself because it's self-leveling. So you're just making sure it's good up to these edges. I'll get this where it's going to be staying. Normally I would keep going right at this point, and then I would do the torching later. But just for the sake of this video, I'm going to peel one glove off. You can see, I'm pretty sure the camera ain't picking this up, but there's little tiny bubbles all over in here from mixing. You might be able to pick it up in there, get the shine, move it. So now, 
Get in closer with that. Get in closer with that. Get in closer with that. And I'm going to hit it with this torch head from about this high up. Probably about 8 inches or so. And that's going to get them bubbles to run away. They, they will run from this fire. They just sit there and popping all over the place. I take a really good look with my eyes. And if I was to take this camera upward, you'd see I have major lighting in here. So I can see any little bubble in here. I see there's a little tiny one here. And if they're persistent, that's why I keep this needle down here. Just a little guy right here. You pop him like a zit, get him running away. Normally I'd wait about five or so minutes and I would torch again from the same height. That is warming that resin up and making it level out real nice so it's got a nice shiny coat to it. And I can see right now, that thing is perfect all the way around it. So I'm going to let you guys go there and I'm going to finish the rest of the resin room. Y'all have a good day.